I have a handful of favorites that are never the first one people mention. Um, I'm absolutely crazy about a movie called Mulan. Oh, um, yeah. And it breaks my heart, and I believe what it is about, and we worked very hard on it, and uh-huh. I think it's a spectacular look at. I am out of my mind in love with a film called Lilo and Stitch mm-hmm. um, that just completely kills me what it has to say. And um, even though it was one of the most brutal creative experiences of my life, I... <laughs> I love this movie called The Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got some Emperor's New Groove okay. fans. And and I can tell because if I said, why do we even have that lever? They would know what I meant. What was brutal about the experience? Because it wasn't the movie we set out to make. Uh-huh. We set out to make a film, um, uh, a, a big epic kind of Lion King scaled movie um, th- that had sort of a Prince and the Pauper element to it. And... The David Spade character from Emperor's New Groove was the emperor, and Luke Wilson played a um, uh, a, sh- a shepherd who looked like a, like well, a llama herder who looked like um, the emperor, and they switched places. Mm-hmm. And the B story was David Spade um, out in the world of John Goodman and being pursued by Isma, played by the remarkable um, Eartha Kitt, and that was the only part of the movie that was working. And so we ended up taking the B story of the movie, cutting, this is the hard, hardest part for me, cutting Sting's songs, oh. and then making it a broad, silly comedy rather than this big, epic, serious movie. So it's sort of like if you um, were working on a, 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 a film of Midsummer Night's Dream, and you cut Hermia and Helena and, and everybody, and you just made it about the rustics, and then uh-huh. it would just be a big, long movie about... Pyramus and Thisbe and the wall. So it wouldn't make any sense, but we did that, and it was funny, so I loved it. Well, that's good. You look so lost. I'm not lost. I'm thinking about what, I'm thinking about whether there's a future for, like, a producer's cut of, what, you know, what got cut and the version. The haunting thing is that there's a documentary about this movie being made. Oh, there is, and will, will we get to see some of no, that cut stuff? Never. Oh, boo. Never, never. <laughs> 